Hey everybody, Josh here. So I uh, talked a little bit in this post about custom dashboard projects and the value of doing early stage prototypes. And um, I mentioned two tools, Google Data Studio and Excel. Uh, and I wanna just give a quick brief overview of how I use both these tools to build early stage prototypes that can save literally hundreds of thousands of dollars down the line if you're doing a custom dashboard project. Um, I've seen so many projects go off the rails over the years because people didn't take the time early on to just test out using the actual data that's available to them in some kind of visualization tool. Uh, it's such a critical step. It completely shifts the way that people think about the constraints of building a dashboard and what actually matters and what they want to include and don't want to include. It just, it's a game changer and everybody should be doing this um, in some way or another early on before they invest all of the money into uh, a dev team getting started on like a legitimate, very, very rigid product roadmap. Uh, so let me get into it. Um, this first one I have behind me right now is uh, Data Studio. Um, this is a tool from Google, it's free, um, and it's a data visualization tool essentially. It allows you to connect to different data sources and then Take those data sources, you can blend them, you can do all sorts of stuff with them, but they're normalized so you can start building visualizations that can be filtered by date or filtered by dimension really easily. Um, let me go into edit mode here. I'll just show you quickly what data connectors look like in Data Studio. So we've got lots of built-in connectors. You could like upload a CSV file. You could use Google Sheets, uh, connect automatically to things like Google Ads, Google Analytics, uh, MySQL database, uh, your search console data, whatever, and then there's tons, 600 apparently, uh, partner connectors, which are third-party connectors that let you connect to even more stuff. So you can take kind of whatever data you want, it's gonna pull it all in, normalize it, and let you start visualizing it. The visualization tools are pretty extensive. You can build all sorts of stuff. Uh, you probably don't need more visualization types than there are here. <laughs> and if you do, uh, you're, you're, you're doing something that is in a whole different caliber. So for 98, 99% of projects, this is gonna be more than sufficient. Um, changes are really easy to make. It's kind of like a visual editor in a sense, super easy to click in, edit things. Um, so you can get a prototype together really quickly in this. The learning curve's not super steep. Watch some of the YouTube videos of it uh, if you wanna get up to speed really fast and have something that you can work with. And you can pump data into this and start playing with it and seeing what you have available, what you don't have available, what looks good, what doesn't look good, um, and get way ahead of the curve then when you're actually getting, a, you know, a, doing a full launch. You know, when you think about how expensive custom dashboard projects are overall, you know, they can be hundreds of thousands, millions, tens of millions of dollars. Um, it's worth it to do this kind of step early on so that you go in feeling well-informed, educated, and when you're trying to get buy-in or pitching this to get budget, like you have you have the knowledge you need to actually be empowered <laughs> and do that properly. Uh, so this is Excel. This is the other tool I use a lot for this. Excel's great. Everyone has access to it, right? Um, everyone also has some experience using it for the most part. Uh, not 100% of people, but most people have used it at some point. So most people are use, used to using the grid layout in Excel. Let's see, if you look at the cells in the background, it's like where you enter in text and stuff. Um, that isn't what I'm doing at all. You'd use that to process your data, paste your data in, build tables, do all that standard Excel stuff. But when you wanna build a dashboard, you're using a lot more of the shape features, the chart features, and you're kind of using this more like PowerPoint than Excel, if that makes sense. So. In Excel, we have a lot of PowerPoint-like features, like inserting shapes. Um, you then can insert text and insert visualizations like charts. And you can layer these things together, just like in PowerPoint, to kind of create any UI, quote unquote, that you want. Um, this, uh, I I've, have a few sample templates like this that kind of break down how I do this. I send them out on my newsletter too, which I'll include a link to if you want to join the newsletter. I'll send this one out on the newsletter this week actually. Um, but that that sort of process of just layering up shapes and text to make dashboards isn't too complex. You don't need a ton of incremental knowledge to get there and start doing this stuff. And because everyone knows how to use Excel, you can edit, make changes, tweaks, adjust adjustments as you want super easily. It's a really valuable tool. So I hope you all get a chance to try this stuff out. Let me know if you have any questions below and thanks so much for watching. I'll talk to you all soon.